uh, this is only a dream. I need to wake up. I was in the Commonwealth and what makes me special? Okay. So hi everyone. Uh, this is the first registration form you will see. Uh, as you can see, all special points uh, begins at six. You have a total of 47 special points with immersive gameplay. Uh, I will later I will go over what each uh, special uh, ability does uh, with immersive gameplay. But as you can see, six points for every special, plus five more points you can spend. If you do not uh, like, if you feel this is uh, an over, like empowered you like too much, then you can simply use the rough start batch, which will uh, make you begin with five special points instead of six, and a total of forty points. I should record. Start recording. Okay. Simple enough. Okay, I'm not sure what are my unique traits. I don't have any unique traits. I'm done. Okay. Where was I really? I was in the robot junkyard. No, I was in the old ranger cabin because that's a good place to start. Um, I'm not still not sure who I am. What was I doing with my life? I'm a survivalist. Enough, man. I'm ready to wake up. Okay. Actually, should have started in Conquer. That would have made things easier. But mm -hmm. I'll see how it goes from here. Hmm. So let's take everything down. All the music down. Okay, so hi everyone, in case you're joining right now, or you're watching this video. Uh, this is an overview of the low-tech patch, immersive gameplay, over, uh, low-tech patch, which I highly recommend to use the quick start mode with it. Um, okay, and the immersive gameplay HUD, which will enable you to remove the HUD, all of the HUD, but still be able to select different items such as the runaway suitcase it make it just easier to walk in the world as well as you will see survival notification on the bottom right area of the screen so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go over the different footage of the low-tech patch and how they impact the gameplay okay so the regular gameplay the regular immersive gameplay is heavily balanced around power armor around the use of power armor it means fusion cores last longer and the uh, brotherhood and sins are uh, very hard to defeat they are like very strong enemies as well as the gunners who make use of power armors and even your own minutemen regain mini power armor suits as you level and they grow in power the low tech patch it takes a different uh, direction uh, it looks at things in a different way it means energy weapons are hard to come by uh, it means that enemies will carry less ammo so less more likely to run out of ammo and rush you with their secondary weapons either their handguns or their melee weapons and so you have to kill them faster in order to have ammo creatures on the other hand creatures are exactly the same between the regular immersive gameplay version and the low tech version exactly the same okay with the low tech patch fusion cores last gravely less they are all born fusion cores suffered great emp waves in the great war and unlike the regular immersive gameplay 
you will not be able to rely on power armor in order to keep you safe throughout the combat. Here we start with the fusion core which is filled up to 85% and as I begin running it quickly drains. It quickly drains and empties until it no longer is able to support my running. Which encourages uh, non-power armor playthrough. In addition, it is difficult to find fusion cores just like it is in the regular immersive gameplay. So I will summarize, less uh, fusion, co less energy weapons, less ammo, uh, short lasting fusion cores, all this leads to a game focused around non-power armor playthroughs, the enemies, um, human enemies, humanoid enemies, as you adjusted in order to fit into the world, they also use uh, suitable weapons, you will not find laser rifles, plasma rifles and brotherhood knights. You will see less knights in general and more experience. In regular lower infantry, this is also true for gunners who will have less uh, advanced uh, troops, their disposals unlike the regular immersive gameplay. Uh, while all the regular monsters, they stay the same. All the radiated animals will be more dangerous because you will not be able to use power armor or uh, the advanced weaponry you usually find. So this actually caused death claws to be much more dangerous than they were before. As well as rad scorpions and ghouls and all the other small critters will be much more dangerous with the low tech patch than they are with regular immersive gameplay. It gives you a completely new way of uh, playing the game okay now we'll go and touch the settlements aspect <laughs> 